Yes, everybody and their mama is doing this video, but I'm really impressed. And I'm going to give you my view on the Sigma brushes. And I'm not going to be reviewing this, comparing it to MAC, because I don't own MAC brushes, just one, and it's my 224. But I'm just going to give you what my opinion about brushes. I've tried cheap brushes and medium quality brushes. So I'm just going to give you my point of view. And the first one that came with the set, I kept I Simone from Sigma sent me this kit. That is it's like a leatherette kind of thing with a flap to cover the brushes, which is excellent. So if you're carrying them around they're not gonna fall down just like that. And it has a magnetic snap snap on thingy here. It's um it has Sigma makeup engraved and it's twelve brushes but it came with my with a with a kabuki brush. And I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. So uh yeah so I, I've been using these brushes for like around two weeks now and I have to say they're excellent. They the SS 150 is one of my favorite brushes of the set. It's absolutely soft. Absolutely soft. Just like a MAC brush. And I touch them. <laughs> I touched them before. And they're absolutely soft. These are absolutely soft. I, um, I've washed them like three times now. And they bled. The first and the second time they bled. The third time it did anymore. They shed a little bit the first time, the first few washes, but it went away, like in the third wash. And it's absolutely, absolutely soft. I love it. And yeah, that's that. The feel of the brushes is very, very sturdy. You know that the ferrule's not going to come off. Come off. But anyways, this is the SS187. It is very similar. They look pretty similar between the Mac and the Mac and and the Sigma. They look pretty similar. It's kind of softer than than my Studio Tools brush, which is one of my favorites ever. This is so useful. The Studio Tools one. And what I've noticed okay, this is they're pretty much very densely packed. This is a little bit more like more tight tightly packed and this is a kind of a looser thing but it's it's good it's really really soft I noticed with my studio tool one that after one or two applications of makeup if I don't wash it it's, it gets really really prickly and it kind of hurts on the second and third time that I use it with some makeup with I mean that I don't wash it thoroughly it gets really, really mm, prickly. I love it, though. I, I really, really love this one. And this, on, on the other hand, is uh, really, really soft. It's, it's, not, it's softer than the Studio Tools. It shed a little bit on uh, the, the, the black hairs when I was washing it. I washed this, like, five times now, and the bleeding went away, and it's still a soft as in the beginning. I'm really, really glad to see this. I really love it for powders and it also applies blush really really good. I know it's too big for blush but sometimes you would just want to apply um, a blush that is on the lighter side so it's okay. You don't need to uh, you can grab this perfectly. You can blend perfectly foundation with this and I haven't found any hairs on my hair on my face with this and that's annoying from in a brush that you you're doing your makeup and you have hair all over your face it's, that sucks so this is really really uh, a good one but it's it's softer than the studio tools if you own the studio tools it's kind of mm, it doesn't have as much resistance to the brush so it can affect the coverage it gives you in the first place when you apply your, your foundation. Um, if you use it for liquid foundation. And this, that, that was the one I said, and the 190, I mean, the 168, it's like a blush, 
slash contour brush. It's a, it's goat hair. You know, goat hair is the one that picks up, that grabs color the most. And yeah, it's really, really soft. Um, it's kind of too big for my full house on my cheeks, kind of. So I prefer to use this as a blush brush. But it's a good brush. All of them, they feel really, really, really sturdy and really well constructed. Um, and then the 188. It's just 188. It's, it's pink. I just applied blush with it. And I like it because it's really, really soft. It's kind of softer. It's not as firm as the 187. But it's great because I have this palette right here. And maybe that happened to you that that you have a, a, um, a blush that is too dark or too bright. And you just want to tone it down and use a light hand with it. I'm wearing right now this blush. This. It's like a hot, hot pink. And this, this brush takes just the right amount of color. Takes the right amount of color. I love it because I can use any, any blush that I have. Even if it's too pigmented. Then it comes in 190. The 190 is... Uh, better than the ones that I have from other sets or from other brands. What I like about this one is that it's pointed. And you don't see that in in many foundation, regular, traditional foundation brushes. Um, because, I don't know, I like it because it, it goes into my very, very corner of the eye. So if I'm applying concealer or foundation on this area, it gets to the very, very, very corner of the eye. It, it, it gets the outer corner too, you know, around your nose. It's very, very good. Okay, this is rounder. This is from the Costco set, and it's rounder. So that little point right there it makes a huge difference. The 194, the 194 is a regular concealer brush. The thing is that uh, this is also like just like the foundation uh, one. It's kind of a it's kind of mom and baby because they're both pointed. And if it's pointy, you can be really, really precise when you're concealing imperfections like acne, pimples, and freckles and stuff like that. So it's not an ordinary. You're more likely to get all the little, little corners with the concealer. And I really like this one. Okay, now on to the eye brushes. I got, first of all, the 219 is one of my favorites. This 219 is awesome. It deposits a lot of color, and you know you can create a very defined crease. You can do your, you can smudge your eyeliner on your top lash line, your lower lash line. Your, um, you can put eyeshadow below your your lashes. This is great. Now the 239. I have this that is really similar to the 239, and this is, and it's uh, just like the Max. It's like a goat hair one, and this 239, uh, Sigma 239, is not uh, goat hair. I think it's sable, the 239, and it deposits a lot of color. I don't know if it's because it's tapered. They cut it like tapered, the, you know, the hair, and you can feel the texture. It's really soft, but you can. You can feel the texture, and it and that texture is going to grab more color. So, I really like this one, and it's really really good too for for the highlight area, the brow bone. Okay, now the 252. I love this brush for pigments, uh, wet pigments, and it does a great job on the lid. Very good job. Also, the 275. It's the little small angle brush. I really like this one for the crease because it, it's very precise, but if you just turn it, you can get more coverage on that area. And it, it, it in a fraction of the time that it takes it to do the crease and then blend and then, you know, place it and, and get it even with the other eye. It's really, really precise, but at the same time, it really um, does the job really quick. I like it so much. Um, the blending brush. It's different from my 224. 
it's uh, shorter and more, and not as fluffy. Uh, to tw my 224 is kind of more flimsy, and it, this well, this one deposits a whole lot more color. So it might be uh, might be a pro or a con. I don't know, depending on how you like it, but. This one kind of deposits not as much color, and you are able to build like darker colors and blend at the same time. But this is to, like deposits more color, so you've got to be really careful not to apply a lot of color in the first place because it takes more color. And but in the but it does a good job on blending. This, the Angle Synthetic Brush, the 266, I like it uh, for for thick eyeliner and. I used it for brows. I didn't like it for myself because I kind of have a lot of eyebrow hair. But, but when I do makeup on people that have like sparse eyebrows, this does a really good job. And this is very good. This is a 209. It says 209. It's really pointy. It's a bliss <laughs> to do thin liner with this. It's really, really useful. It's, I love it. Okay, so on to the Kabuki brush. Soft. Soft is the word. It's absolutely soft. It's a great kabuki. And it shed the for the first two washes. And it stopped shedding. It kind of stopped shedding. So I really, really like this one. I love it for mineral makeup. Or just for blending the powder and, and finishing everything up. Okay, so that's for the 12 piece. Um, 12 brush set, it's a really good investment. I really, really suggest for you to try it. And onto the travel kit, which I'm in love with, because you know how much I travel. And and I love this one. The color, material, the idea, because it has a little pouch right here, where you can put more brushes or anything you want. And it has a flap that covers the brushes, which is very useful. You, you're not going to drop when you're carrying it around. And it's uh, magnetized, so it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a snap or anything. It just closes with the magnetized side, so it stays in place. It's like very cool, and it, it contains the Travel SS150. Which is a powder, face powder brush. The SS187, and for real, this is softer than the one on on the full size kit. Absolutely soft. Now that the other one is not soft, this is softer. And you know when Mac comes up with um, with brush sets for the holidays and stuff, they people say it's just not the same. They're not as soft and yada yada yada. This is not the case with this kit. This is softer than the full size and the other one is soft so you can go figure. In the 168 which is a little bit smaller and you can double as a contour brush and as a blush brush. So perfect for your traveling. And we have the 194 which is a concealer brush. Perfect. This is not as pointy as the full size. It's just round. It's very cute. <laughs> 224. Uh, it's, this is kind of not as full as the other one. So that's a good thing. It's kind of more, a little more tapered than flat. It's, it's good at blending. The 219. Great brush. I describe it to you. And the 239. Which can double as a highlight highlight brush and a lid brush. Okay guys, so this is my review of the kit. They're very well constructed. They're worth the, they're worth the money. The quality is awesome. And I'm not saying this because they, they were sent to me. I'm just saying this because these brushes are absolutely worth the money. Uh, you know, the kit, the, the kit is $79. I am really impressed by the quality. I don't own my brushes. And obviously, I'm impressed because these are, they're up here, you know. They're not your regular cheap brush, and the price is unbeatable. 
for what you're getting. Uh, so if you're planning to invest in your key, if you're uh, a starting makeup artist or whatever, give this a try. You're not going to regret and and stay tuned for the contest. I have a lot of, uh, of Sigma prizes. Well, I'm not going to tell you more. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.